Hey guys, Aromatics here with yet another quick and dirty pipe tobacco review. Today I'll be reviewing Cornell and Deal's Grey Ghost. Now what Grey Ghost basically is, is a Virginia and cigar leaf blend. Fairly simple, uh, it consists of uh, a cigar leaf and stoved and red Virginias. So let me read the description here for you guys. It says, legend has it that on dark nights, a lone figure keeps watch over the city skyline, his billowing trench coat casting a long shadow over the metropolitan streets. In the midst of uncertainty, look for refuge of Virginia's carefully guarded by fragrant cigar leaf. Look for the gray ghost. There you have it. So it's basically just a typical ribbon, uh, ribbon cut. Um, Hard to tell. It looks like it's about 50-50 of uh, Cigar Leaf in Virginia's. Uh, the smell, the journal. Mm, fairly simple, really. A little bit fruity, really light fruity, tobacco-y. Maybe a little bit of lemon and citrus. And very light, very nondescript. Um, not pungent at all. So, okay. So basically, if I were to describe this blend, um, now I smoke it fairly dry. I like my tobacco dry. And if you smoke it a little bit, um, just straight out of the tin, you might get a little bit more of the Virginia fruity, a little bit of that fruitiness, a little bit of that hay and citrus and lemon, just a little bit. There's not a lot there. It's mostly there just to temper the cigar leaf. But um, I like it dry. So... Uh, as it is dry, it mostly, surprisingly, tastes like a burley, um, just the way, like a, a Virginia burley, such as, um, actually what it really reminds me of is, um, let's say, uh, what is it, um, Haunted Bookshop without the Perique. It just has that, it, w it would be a good replacement if, if you like a haunted bookshop and that's your everyday smoke that I bet you uh, if you're interested in cigar leaves this would be a very good all-day smoke as well it's not very nuanced it's not very deep uh, I basically basically what I get is uh, a dry wood taste um, it the cigar leaf is not pungent it's there but it's not a real strong doesn't really stand out it's really mild um, uh, almost also reminds me of, say, uh, when you stick your nose into a bag of potatoes. It's got sort of that potato, dry wood, um, like a toasted burley. Um, and then every once in a while, the Virginias peek, peek out, giving us every once in a while, like maybe a slight hay taste, a little bit of lemon. Um, sometimes the, the cigar leaf, if you puff on it a little bit hard, or just every once in a while when the cigar leaf really comes out, you might get a little tiny bit of uh, bitterness. So yeah, that's basically, basically, if you, it's not a very com complicated blend at all. Um, and it's not very as strong as you would think. It doesn't taste like a really strong cigar. Mostly just this, the combination of Stowe Virginias and the, the light, lightly flavored, um, cigar leaf basically gives you a vapor a uh, virginia burley sort of taste at least to me anyway when it's dry and uh, reminded me if i didn't know any better if, um, that there's cigar leaf in it i would would have thought i was smoking some sort of a a toasted burley with a little bit of virginia in it so very very good blend uh, very enjoyable just something to smoke um when you just just an all-day smoke really uh, in my opinion if you like something uh, if you're into the toasted burleys, um, or even like haunted bookshop, so there you go. There's my review of Cornell and Deal's Gray Ghost. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you guys have a great day. Aromatics, signing out.